Hey, so removing um, is going to be a little bit different. Um, and I'm going to show you a couple different ways. First, let's just look at, um, let's just take a look at this array. It's really simple. It's just the numbers um, one through six. So when I go ahead and run this, we see we just have this array uh, called one through six. Okay. So with the array fil with the remove filter, it removes a, a single scalar value um, or just a single value, I should say, at a time. So that means we'd have to actually um, do a loop. And I'm, I'm not going to go into all the details of this. Um, I can just show you we're looping through and then we update the variable and we're removing the uh, loop variable. So I'll just show you how that works real quick. Um, so let's remove one, two, and three. So we should get four, five, and six back. But one of the cool things about Xano is we have a lot of functions that make things easier. So we don't have to do loops. Um, so in this case, what we can use is this find all elements array function. You can find that under utilities and then, oh, I'm sorry, under data manipulation arrays, and then find all elements down here. So find all elements down here takes out this complexity of a loop and hides it all in here. So what we can say instead is we can just do a one liner here. We can put our array here. So var one is our array. We'll put it here. And then in this expression builder, um, we can define what elements we want. So I'm going to say um, this number array must be in this variable dollar sign this, um, which is just a substitute variable for var1, which is our array. And I'm going to set that equal to false. Um, what that will do is mean the numbers that I'm going to input, I don't want them to be in this array. OK, so let's go ahead and change our response to what we want here. So now if I want to put in, let's say, four, five, and six, we'll get back just one, two, and three. OK, so I definitely recommend um, going with this uh, function here. This array find all elements, it's easier, uh, takes out the loop um, component and it's one line. So you could do this and then put the variable that's created here um, as your new variable in your edit record uh, function. Now, if you're only um, removing a single value at a time from your array, then that remove filter is probably the way to go. However, if you can remove multiple at one time, then definitely use this array, find all elements.